as per usual. That is Pete Umbuzo from a learner from the school that we visit. And I'm trying to in Bedford View. I've got a lady next to me. She's the top five of something. What is that? Business studies. Top five business studies. Yes, sir. All right, who am I speaking to, Mina? Right, Njenga Manj. You're speaking to Mutabi Mukhoti. Mutabi Mukhoti. Yes, sir. Does, uh, I know Hutaba means to be happy. Mm -hmm. So, Mutabi, is it like happiness? Ki Mutabi. Mutabi, the one who's scared. No, you should fear me. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm not scared of business studies. Never. I'm part of Keleza Nati. It's big business, how? Ah, big business. <laughs> All right, cool. What's your learning question for today, Matabi? My learning question for today is how does the present value annuity formula work? All right, you heard the lady who does business studies. How does the present value annuity formula work? That is a maths related question, though, so please help us out. Yes, how does the present value annuity work? Now, guys, last week, what did we do? We looked at savings mm -hmm. where you save money. Amanda was here. Yeah. Okay. Now, we're going to be looking at loans. They call these present value annuities. Now, people, please listen to me. When you borrow money from the bank to buy cars and houses, the banks love you. Do you know why? Yeah. You're paying interest. They take your money, you see and they, they pay you back interest. Sometimes they'll pay you back interest and they lend out your money to people who want loans, okay? Now, I would say, if you're looking at cars, rather buy them cash if you can. Okay, let me show you why. Let's have a look at this example quickly. Suppose that a loan is repaid by means of the payment of a thousand rand. We're gonna do some mathematics here, but there's some very important life skills in here. A thousand rand, one month after a loan was granted, and one further payment of a thousand rand one month after the first payment of a thousand rand. Calculate the amount borrowed. They call it the present value of the loan if 6% per annum compounded monthly is the interest rate. Now let's look at the timeline. Now people listen to me. You borrow money. A month later you pay a thousand rand and a month later you pay another thousand rand. So you've paid 2,000 Rand to the bank, but let's see how much you've actually borrowed. Now watch it. Now let's go and have a look at this timeline. Um, when you were in, in earlier years, you probably remember this. Hey guys, do you remember this little formula? A is equal to P1 plus I to the end. Do you remember that dude? Okay, now very important here is if you look at this 1,000 Rand here, you're paying back some amount. There's interest in this. Okay, now watch this. If you take the thousand and what you did previously, you say your final amount there's a thousand is P into one plus it's, it's compounded monthly, 0, 6 over 12. All right, and it's really a period of one month. Okay, now what you could do, another way of looking at this is to divide both sides by the bracket, okay. You see that there, one plus 0, 0, 6 over 12 to the one is P, which of course then you can bring up if you use exponents, a thousand into one plus um, naught comma naught six over 12 to the negative one. Now look at that, you notice that, that there's a negative one there. So what you're really doing is you're removing the interest of that payment, you see that there? And likewise, you're gonna do the same with that thousand rand, you remove the interest. When you add them up, you can see how much you borrowed. Now watch this, this is a very small little calculation. I'm just gonna erase all of this quickly here. And then what we can do is we can then quickly see what, if we just erase this quickly, then I'm gonna show you exactly how loans work. And it's very, very important to be aware of this. Okay, now here we go, watch this. Okay. The present value at T naught of the thousand rand at T1. Okay, so that thousand rand, the present value, the amount you borrowed. Okay, are you, are you listening? What did you borrow on that thousand? Look at this, let's watch the slide. You're gonna say a thousand and you're removing the interest, one plus naught comma naught six over 12, you're removing a month's interest. And you, in other words, you borrowed 995 rand and two cents, but you're paying back a thousand. You see, it's a little bit more. You see that, girls? Yeah, so um, the numbers within the brackets, is that the interest? That's the interest, it's the one plus the I. You see, that's very good, very good. You can see these students at Bedford, you know finance, eh? <laughs> yeah. Okay, now obviously the, the one, the thousand rand at T2, we're gonna remove, okay, let's just have a look. We're removing two months interest, you see? And look at that, 990. So you've got the 990 plus the other one, if you go back there, um, the 995. So when you actually work that out, let me just show you the moral. Fortunately, the banks will do this for you. 
you're going to have, now watch this, the amount borrowed is called the loan, the present value. It looks like this, okay, that's the, the thousand rand after one month. Mm -hmm. Okay, you with me? You remove the interest. And then you add to that the thousand rand that's paid in the second month. At the end there, you're removing two months. And look at this, 1985. You might say, well, look, 1,985 rand you borrowed, but you paid back 2,000. So the bank scores a little bit. Now that's over two months. Imagine over 20 years. You see what people do is they'll go and buy on, you know, they'll go and get credit cards or they'll go and buy on loans. They buy these things and they pay back interest. They loan money. Do you know what people do? They go to these burger places. They buy a burger on a credit card, girls. <laughs> <laughs> they buy a burger on a credit card and they charge you interest. It takes exactly a couple of hours before the burger becomes, um, you know, yeah. what can I say? It, it, it goes out your system. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to say what I would normally say. <laughs> but um, you can imagine them, you, you, you use a credit card to buy a burger. You eat the burger, you and poo it, it out your system, <laughs> and guess what happens? You have to pay back the burger with interest. interest. Now that is insane. I don't know. Rather go and buy the burger cash. You know what you do is if you go and negotiate with cars, you can go, if you've got cash, you can go in and say, give me a, a discount. You see, give me the deal. But people want you to get into loans. I know you need credit, credit records. They always talk of that. But listen to me. Don't go and buy stupid things on debt, on loans, paying back interest every month. Yeah. That is so stupid. People, you know, okay, you need a house to live in one day and you get loans and cars, but pay it off quickly, you see. So that's the, this is the important thing. Now the mathematics here is called the present value annuitive formula. There's another way to do it, because remember we just had two payments, but what, how does loans work? They're gonna take you over 20 years, 240 payments. Okay, so let's have a look. The present value formula is that there, I always remember it has got a negative exponent there. X is the payment you make every month or whatever, then N is the number of payments you make, and I is the interest rate. So if we use this little formula now on that loan, okay, we can plug in the values. Remember there's two payments, the interest rate, the thousand rand, it's two of them, and if you and if you plug into this formula, guess what? You get 1985,10. You can see that there. So in other words, the formula helps you to determine how much money you borrow, okay? Mm. And the worst part is, you know what happens is because of this interest, the formula is going to remove the interest of all those payments and it's going to show you what you borrow. But you know what the worst thing is? That you buy, buy a house, let's say today, for 500,000 Rand. You go and borrow money and it's all wonderful. Do you know you can pay up to well over 1.5 million? Oh, for that you. house, over that house, you're paying, you just, the, the banks love you for that, you know what I mean? Okay, sometimes it's good to have a loan because you can't afford it, but pay it off quickly and avoid going into too much debt. Do you know, it says, there's a book that I was once reading, it says, do you know in this country, in fact the world, there's only about maybe 3% of people that will retire financially uh, okay. The rest of people will either live on the state or you know get all they'll live with their you have to depend on their kids and everything like that so i always say with financial maths it's not just about the formulas this is what galez and Nati wants to show you guys learn to save properly okay don't get into too much debt if you do get into debt pay it off quickly if you've got a student loan whatever and you got to do the mathematics, but my concern from Galeza Nati's side to say to this nation, don't go and get yourself into debt unnecessarily. There's good debt, there's bad debt. Okay, but the most, I wish we had hours to talk about this, but the important thing is the maths here, but remember a loan is where you borrow money from the bank and you're paying it back. Now the advantage of this formula, you can take, you can actually work out a whole lot of payments. So let's suppose, I'm just gonna go to timeline. You go for eight years. Now look at this timeline. That's 96 payments. Okay, you happy with that? 12 times eight is 96 payments. That's a lot <laughs> of payments. That's 96,000 Rand that you borrowed or you paid back, let's say. Okay, you paid back. Now look at this. Now plug in a thousand Rand, the interest rate is 6% over 12. And look at this. You borrowed 76,000, but you pay back 96,000. You see that there? Dangerous games. Okay, rather pay off the loan. I wish we had time. But remember, if you go into Moby School, go mixitapp.com forward slash Moby School, and we go into this in a lot more detail than we do here. But remember, be careful when you take out loans.
I'm about to find out what our second learner question is for Namshanje. Hello, sisters. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm very well. Where are you from? Where are you from? Pumla, and I live in Witchwood. You live in Witchwood? Yes. Where is Witchwood from here? Komba, just point. That direction. Oh, you go down. Yes. Isn't that, is that the east or the south? East. Ah, okay. Interesting stuff. So, what is your learner question for today related to mathematics? Okay. How does the present annuity formula work when payment is not made one month after the loan? That is the question. How does the present value annuity formula work when payment is not made one month after the loan? So, this is a local annuity. Wow, this is a good question. It says, how does the present value annuity formula work when the first payment is not made one month after the loan? Be very careful with the schools. Mm, have you ever, have you, have you been to a shop where they say to you, no, you don't have to pay now. When I was growing up, they had a thing called, you know, fly now and pay later. You don't have to, they don't, th th let me tell you something. Many institutions there, well, financial institutions, they don't mind if you, if you take long to pay. You know, if you don't make a, a monthly payment, they're not gonna they're not gonna moan at you. Do you know why? Let me show you. Let me tell you exactly what happens here. Have a look here. Here's something that Amanda did. How? Oh. Amanda takes out, you see, I'm including her here. She takes out a 20-year loan of a hundred thousand Rand. Okay. She repays the loans by means of equal monthly payments starting three months after the granting of the loan. The interest rate is 18. I'm going to pray for you, Amanda. 18% per annum compounded monthly. They love your money. Watch out for credit cards and that kind of thing. They're good things. But if you have to pay the minimum payment, you are going to be big time shoe shine in, in the poo shine. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right. Now listen to me. How, calculate her monthly payments that she's going to be making on the loan. The trick here, you see, now let me just show you what they do. Careful now, guys. You see, there's the 100,000 Rand. Okay, if you got it there. She's only going to start making her first payment at T3. The interest rate is 18% divided by 12, which is 0, 0, 0, 0,015. Now, you might say, okay. You know, they'll say, don't worry, you know, we're going to give you two months grace. You don't have to worry about a thing. Do you see? Mm -hmm. Do you think that's a good idea? Mm. Why? Anyone got an idea? If you, you pay see, for longer, you're paying more interest. Yes, you see, this is the thing. You have more interest if you take it long. But here is a little twist. Now watch this. That 100,000 range, you didn't make the first two payments. Now listen, the first two payments start lowering your loan. Do you agree? But if you don't make those two payments, watch the space. I am out to steal your money, honey. Okay, are you ready? Have a look here. The loan grows to T2. Do you see that there? It's growing to a gap before the first payment. The loan grows. It always goes a gap before. This is important with that formula. It goes to a gap before. So your 100,000 Rand, Amanda borrows 100,000 Rand, She's gonna, and she's not making the first two payments. She missed the two. Okay, now that means that she's going to have to, the loan grows more, you see. So have a look here. If you go back to this thing, what we can then say, all right, look at that, the 100,000 Rand, we load on two months interest. You see that there? Now, the number of payments would be 240. Okay, 240, but we missed two, so we're down to 238. You see that there? Now, when you work out X here, what will happen if you just simply do the mathematics here, you simply then, well, you simply multiply both sides by 0, 0, 0, 0,15, divide by the bracket. That's pretty easy if you're doing maths, and you get this. So she's gonna pay one, approximately 1,591 per month. Okay, be very careful with this. Now, I want us, to, this we're gonna go to Moby School, and we're gonna do a lot more of these calculations. So what I want you to do is I want you to go to Mixit app. Now we're gonna link to the Moby School app and, and see what's happening.